everyone, welcome to Chinese Home Recipes. Today, we are going to make Biang Biang noodles, a famous hand-pulled broth noodles recipe from Xi'an. So why is it called Biang Biang noodles? Biang is known as the most complex Chinese character. It refers to the sound of slapping noodles on the table while pulling. Now the character might be difficult to write, but the noodles is not that difficult to make. Let's see what ingredients we need. First, we have 280 grams of flour. We'll also use pak choy, spring onion, and uh, coriander, as well as one clove of garlic. And then 140 grams of water and 2 grams of salt, 2 grams of white pepper powder, also Chinese black vinegar and roasted sesame seed oil, as well as light soy sauce. Here is white sesame seed and crushed chili. We'll also use seed oil. First, let's make the dough. Add salt to the flour and mix well. And then slowly add in water and stir. The amount of flour we're using is for two people portion. You can adjust it if needed. Clean the chopsticks and uh, combine the mixture roughly into a dough. The dough doesn't have to be smooth now. Cover it with cling film and let it rest for five minutes. And then open it and knead the dough again for another two minutes. This time it will get smoother much easier. Finally, put on a cover and let the dough rest for an hour. Make sure to allow yourself plenty of time for making this recipe, as it takes time for the dough to become elastic. Now that the hour has passed, we're going to work on the dough again. Roll it out into a long loaf shape. Pinch the side to make the loaf smoother and roll again. And then separate the dough into four portions of roughly the same size. Roll out each piece into a longer strip of about 20 cm length. Prepare a plate with 1 or 2 tablespoons of seed oil and coat each piece with oil. This will keep the dough more moisturized and prevent them from sticking together. Then cover it with cling film and let it rest for another half an hour. While waiting for the dough, let's prepare the vegetable and sauce. First, chop the coriander. You can skip it if you don't like the flavor. And then thin slice the spring onion. And next, chop the garlic. For the pak choy, separate the leaves and rinse them in water to remove the dirt. And then slice the leaves in halves. Next, let's prepare the sauce. Pour half of the soy sauce in each bowl. Do the same with the black vinegar and the sesame seed oil as well as white pepper powder. Mix well and the base sauce is ready. Now put half a pot of water to boil and let's start to pull the noodles. Take a piece of dough and press it down with your palm. Then roll it flatter with a rolling pin. If you like your noodles to be very broad, you can start pulling now. Or you can take a chopstick and make a mark here right in the middle. Now you can grab each end and start to pull the noodles while slapping it against the surface. If you feel like your dough is going to break, don't worry, just extend it bit by bit like this. Then leave it on the side to rest a little more and let's continue with the second piece. Now after a little bit more rest, the first dough would tend to be more elastic. Then we can break it in the middle where the chopstick mark is. Then do the same with the other piece of dough. When the water is boiling, put in the noodles. Stir a little and boil for one minute. Then add in half of the pak choy and boil for another minute. When it's ready, take the noodles and the pak choy out to the bowl we prepared with the sauce before. Mix the noodles with the sauce to give it a base flavor. After this, prepare the other bowl of noodles in the same way if you're cooking for two. Then prepare a pan and heat up about four tablespoons of seed oil. 
On top of the noodles, add coriander, spring onion, white sesame seed, as well as crushed chili. Adjust the amount according to your preference. And finally, garlic. When the oil is hot, pour about half on top of each bowl. Finally, mix well and our bian bian noodles is ready. If you like the recipe, please subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time!